Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitters here in the Mayhem Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to get uh, mayhemy with you, I guess. It's, it, we got a lot of people on the line. The Mayhem Mania starts tonight. Tonight, guys. First of all, let's go across the internet, across the interwebs, and uh, of course with us back on the show, the guy that I've been disagreeing with every week on the Raw Wrap-Up and a little bit on 205 Live is Mad Mike. Sorg, people asked for science. Oh, no. I did science. This is a crossover with the Raw Wrap-Up. Okay, we'll go, we're good because we, we've had some stuff boiling from the Raw Wrap-Up for a few weeks, and we're bringing you guys together, and we're going to have a little bit of a conference. We're going to have a little bit of a, a, a come to Vince meeting and, uh, and, and see where it goes from there. Pow. Also with us for the first time in 2017, he is the sound guy over at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. He is coming out from California. Pennsylvania, he is Wheels. The champ is here. What up, everybody? What do Happy you got New there? Year. What do, what do you I got there the for Wheel National audio? Heavyweight Championship? Awesome, awesome. He, yes, Wheels, yes. I don't know if you don't follow him on social media. Wheels has a pretty incredible belt collection. That's your newest one, right? Yes, this is the newest one, and I plan on keep on going through seven. 2017 getting more and more there you go are you eyeballing that new uk championship honestly i'd love that one that is a beautiful <laughs> belt that is a beautiful one. i haven't heard is that a wildcats belt or did somebody else do that one honestly i think it's the same people that did their wwe championship oh um, WWE um, Universal. Uh, orange county bikers oh, yeah. yeah yeah i think they did it too yeah or uh, orange county Chargers. I mean, that's awesome it's, I mean, you figure it's the same like shape. Yeah, so I'm figuring yeah. that's who. Yeah, might yeah. Have did it. Poor Wildcats over here in Latrobe can't really compete with Orange County on that one. So, uh, also with us, we got a hell of a crew here. <laughs> wait, wait. First, let's show the new camera angle. We got. Wait, where did I put him? Where is he? I think he's number five. There he is. Hey, hey Mutilator Larry hey, is hey, with hello. us. Two hundred five live is over. It is. It, it's just wrapped up. Just give and... me a quick preview. How was two hundred five live tonight? It, it was stormy. There were a lot of umbrellas. What? Yes, I'm excited by that. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Oh forfeit match. That is amazing. And there were a lot of umbrellas. We have got to get you on the midweek war with that. He, he's been enjoying I'm it. So, so and it's gonna be like the fucking penguins wrestling. In- <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, like. Also with us on the couch. First of all, he was just on the Indie Mayhem show. Check out that. Uh, well, I should be rolling out probably next week. He is Jackson Argus. He is the International Wrestling Cartel Rookie of the Year, Read the and shirt. he's got a T-shirt, so you don't forget about it. Damn right. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thanks so much for having a very comfy couch for me to sit on. That's right, at the newly enlarged comfy yes. couch. So in it. the new studio. There you go. Yeah. And also with us back in the studio for the the opening ceremonies of of the Mayhem Mania. He's got the big little board. <laughs> yep. He is sporting a Mayhem Club shirt available on our Spreadshirt page linked over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Mainstream, Matt Carlin. I always apologize to Carl and Doc every time I wear this because I know I'm just taking your merchandise money, but I'm sorry, <laughs> but... I had to you do it. You think they still get Bullet Club merch money? You, you think that know. still happens? I, I know that I guarantee every time they see some sort of anything club parody yeah. shirt, they're probably just like, this son of a oh, bitch. I can just right. take it Real <laughs> clever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Come up with your own shit. Yeah. Come up with your own shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. I don't know. I got this cool Jackson uh, Argus shirt. I'm just going to pull it over my face. And- yeah. It's the I best like, shirt, but the rookie of the owned. year shirt is mm-hmm. a, is a true original. That's like one step ahead of best grandma ever. So <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. I'm I did have the that. best grandma ever, and I would have bought her a shirt for that too. Yeah, exactly, there you go. I would have absolutely you hit that absolutely. Salvation Army and find that right there. And that oh, you know, this that will, this will be hung cat up. Sweatshirt aisle, you know, yeah. never. This shirt will be hung up and framed. 
yeah. eventually. Should or be. I'll just win it again next year. I don't know. Exactly. We'll the that. reset <laughs> button has tweeted us. Oh. oh. That uh, the rookie of the year is nothing. Hashtag reset, reset, reset. The IWC Ouch. reset button for Reloaded this Is that this like weekend. delete, delete, delete? I, reset, 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 reset. So how dare that? I don't know. know. Instead of resetting, they should just blow into it. That that really that helps instead of pressing the reset button. I'm gonna break that damn button come Saturday if it doesn't shut its mouth. Go. How about that? Hey, Mike. You know what I got to say to that dummy? Yeah. Oh, come on. Whoa. There you go. Huh? Okay. Wow. Wheels is aggressive. He is. He's very angry. He's, he's pissed that I haven't invited him on the show for like a month and a half. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> this sword. is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can subscribe to the show and other fine shows that we have over on Stitcher, Spreaker, <laughs> iHeartRadio, and of course, video versions on the YouTube and the Facebook page. And please follow that Facebook page, like the page, uh, so you can let, us, let so you can find out when we're going to go live here Tuesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Exclusive stuff. And actually, there's an Instagram. Uh, uh, contest, which we'll get into in a moment here. Uh, that if you're here live or catching this on the first release uh, within 24 hours, uh, you might might have a little chance of something here. Uh, so it pays to play live with us on on the live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com and the Facebook page right now. Like I said 10 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday. And plus, there's events when we do interviews. Uh, those are popping up all over the place. Actually, as of this recording, we are scheduled to have in here uh, Ring of Honor wrestler shane taylor will be joining us sunday morning at 11 a.m live on the facebook uh he will be here in the studio on that couch over there we brought so so he's gonna have the comfy he's gonna have the comfiness he, he's, here, he all, he's here to test the quality of the renovation store yes, that's he what he's is. here to do he's gonna make sure all the walls are good and sturdy and everything like that time out time out with yeah. Was he ever Rookie of the Year with IWC? I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, well, would you look at that? The, the real stars know, right here. But he was a former RWA heavyweight champion, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't so, need to get into so details here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no need for details. There there you go. Pat my ego and move on. Teacher. All right, we'll thank call, you. We'll call him out for that. We'll ask him later. We'll we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see where that goes. All right, and uh, what else do I about? Patreon, <clears throat> Patreon dot com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we got uh, a bunch of new levels, including the Pocky Club fan of the show, and so many other ways. <laughs> What's up? I was gonna mention story. There's never been a better time to give your money to. Sorgatron Media through Patreon because, as you know, as we get toward the end of May- Mayhem Mania, we of course will have Patreon in the bank, in which only the Patreons are going to get to play the game. And you know how important that is. That's usually around that time of year when Mad Mike usually ponies up two or three bucks for you so he can sneak in and uh, you know <laughs> it's get pretty, into the game. Absolutely. But the point is, absolutely, yes. I'm going to do it again this year. Yeah, it's it, big, big, big. It's Patreon always fundraiser. my birthday gift to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic but thank you so much to our patreons unfortunately i did not bring the doc up but i know it's usually ed <laughs> ed perk bob you have j town bo diggity chris bishop and Woo! the matthew and jennifer Woo! thank you and the matthew and jennifer foundation for podcast betterment and alex cars is that everybody yeah i believe so i think that's it I think it's, I don't think there's been anybody new popping up, but there should be. We have so much great stuff going on there at Mayhem Show Gold, where we asked a super secret question to our guest, Jackson Argus. That's me. About Canada. Oh, about Canada. Neat. And bears. And, and bears. wrestling. <laughs> and and the thing that, that most vexed him yeah. in the Lance Storm Training Academy. Sign up. Pocky Club. Do it. Mayhem Show Gold. Do it. There you go. And they do the email address. Did we, did good, we times. Do good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com 412-206-WMS0. From my head! Uh, but anyways, let's get into the show. But first, hey, well, yeah, you do have a thing. I do you have got, a thing. You got a I thing so going many on. things. You got a thing going on next 24 hours. Please plug that. I will plug that. Well, if you go to my Instagram, which is at Jackson Argos, J-A-X-O-N-A-R-G-O-S, I have a photo I just posted before I came on here, and if you like that photo and tag two of your friends, you'll be entered for the chance to win the amazing shirt that if you want, if you want to show everybody the shirt oh, you're wait, wearing, wait, right wait, now, wait, that'd wait, be we got awesome. This, uh, visual cue. Okay, yeah. There it is. One of these shirts. There, is, there is on the video. And I will also be signing a beautiful picture of myself with a personal message for the winner. So go to Instagram right now. I hope that's what you're doing at this exact. Yes! That's marketing at its finest. That's that hustle. 
that right there. <laughs> Go to that Instagram account, like that photo, follow me on there. I post all kind of stupid, funny stuff and and wrestling things too. So go there. There's my plug. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Now, 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 now. There you go. Check it out. All right. The first thing out uh, now, since the majority of this show exists in Pittsburgh, I think the biggest story of the week has to be, (laughs) uh, first of all, presented by Mutilator Larry. Yes, sir. uh, Who who brought, he he is the happiest, maybe the happiest one in here. Uh, I think we've, well, well, of course, if if people caught your your prediction for the year, uh, but... uh, what what was your prediction? So one of my predictions for 2017 was the return of Kurt Angle, and God damn it, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's ever going to wrestle again, but and, and, and again, <laughs> every time we go to a show in Pittsburgh, every time now you... I don't have to go to the shows anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll Ticket be. Go- I, I think we'll, I think yeah. we'll be going to SmackDown in March. I don't know if he's going to show. Like they, oh. I, I can't think of a time when the Hall of Famer. I... Pop no, up I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Yeah, I, like I don't know. If, if they're in Pittsburgh, he kind of has to. Yeah, I, like I think if nothing else, because there was a time where Bruno popped up at a Pittsburgh show off camera. Very yeah. true. Right. Right. Yeah, so, it would make a lot of sense to bring him. So in. I think I think maybe we could get a treat of an in ring or at least on stage wave Kurt Angle. We're like, hey they, guys, they remember can, me? They could even do like a Stone Cold Live podcast with Angle or something. Yeah, I he'll show up on TV before the Hall of Fame. I don't think he'll wrestle at all, but he'll show up on TV. Man, mm-hmm. I tell you what, that's a good idea. I'd like to see an Austin podcast with Angle. That'd be fun. That'd, That'd be, be like great. right behind having Angle on this show. So. Well, he did just say, didn't he want Austin to induct him? So that's did not he, a bad choice. Really I believe that I read that earlier. He wanted Austin to induct That'd him. That'd be good. I believe I read. I could be wrong. I think I read that uh, wow. somewhere earlier today. So. You know, it'd be funny if they have Samoa Joe induct him. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> That oh, I would really like that. I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> oh, no, that'll do it. But it would be funny. Maybe they'll Bubba the Bulldog induct him since he trained him. No? Mm, I yeah. got that fact right. Yeah, he's one of them that trained him, right? <laughs> I don't think he gets credit for it, though. They, they, well, the, I know PWX is very big about announcing that they trained Kurt Angle. So, like, well, that anyone school. who had a role in, in getting Kurt Angle into professional wrestling right. gets a thumbs up. That's true. So. That's true. So, it's true. It's, it's damn, damn true. true. Yes, it is. is. So, um, and there's a, been rumors of who else might be in there. I think uh, uh, Rick Rude was coming around. Uh, what is something happening in the chat? There is another chat for our guest. Hey! Oh. Brian Bowers. Oh, yeah, I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay. Brian Bowers, your your uh, former teammate? I was his towel boy. He was his towel boy. <laughs> 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 just, just tell from him. Towel shoot boy from the <laughs> <laughs> he says, Argus, how does it feel to be out of his shadow? <laughs> I mean, I don't have a towel anymore. Well, like so. I say, Brian's never been on the Mayhem show, so. Hey, there we go. Ooh. And I gotta say, Mayhem Bump is in full effect. Sure. Mm-hmm. Brit on Raw, ROH NXT. signees. We NXT have tag team champions. We have friends and, of and the show. WWE Hall of Famers, Sorg. WWE Hall of Famers. Yes. We have that friends. mayhem bump finally went through for Kurt Angle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that kid made it. It's not bad. We talked. Finally to, made it. He was on in 2012, so that 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 worked out. You know, it, it's sure. You know that 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 young kid Kurt Angle finally <laughs> made the mayhem bump. Good for him. Finally, Sorg. There you go. Uh, but we do have friends of the show in every promotion. So, which I think, I think even New Japan. Yeah, definitely New Japan. We've, we've, we've talked with some people there. So, uh, but Kenny anyways. Omega loves us. Kenny, I don't know about Kenny Omega. <laughs> I love to have a, I love to have a discussion with Kenny Omega. But anyways, uh, but no, I think it's great. Other rumors, uh, I think going around was, was, I think was uh, rude. DDP. DDP was going around. Cool. Right. Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix. Beth. Oh, well, that'd be great. Dudley's. <laughs> Are they in the mix now? They're retired. That's a good idea. I heard. I heard uh, the natural. I heard the natural disasters were a rumor too. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Though? They might hold the Dudleys because I keep hearing that Philly wants WrestleMania somewhere down the oh, line. They cool. might hold the Dudleys for. <laughs> Would they have it in Philly. the arena? Or I'm sorry, the Philly's arena. Philly's the- not going to get WrestleMania. They I don't mean, think so. Big enough. Philadelphia's they- got a huge stadium. They can't have anything nice. <laughs> they can have it outdoors. That, uh, oh, Lincoln oh. Financial. <laughs> well, it won't remain nice. Come yeah. on. I already <laughs> fought with Philly on Twitter with the Mayhem Show account. Here we go again. Sorry, Vaughn. Sorry, Vaughn. We love you. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Fuck Philly. 
<laughs> I love Philly. Mike, no. He's not even a Pittsburgher, and he says, fuck Philly. Yeah, yeah I mean, Sorg. Where's that Poughkeepsie I'm, I'm Philly a, beef I'm, coming from? I'm a New Yorker. That's <laughs> Fuck He's got beef with every city. Got, oh, that's right. You just yeah, we just hate everybody. Yeah. So no, that's not true. I love Pittsburgh. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I think the Hall of Fame is going to be uh, kind of went from geez, who's left to crap. There's a lot of people left. <laughs> yeah. Right. And and yeah. they're they're, they're going to be pulling them out. So um, nobody local because not really any Orlando. I think it's more just people that get to have a short drive and didn't want to well, travel anywhere. <laughs> Um, isn't the first TNA world champion considered local to Orlando? You know, it, would it, make, it does it make a lot sense. of sense. Like Kurt did spend more time. Of it. <laughs> Kurt has spent more of his career in TNA than yeah. WWE. Yeah, exactly. it yeah. makes a lot of sense that he gets inducted in Orlando. It, it's it's like his, it's like his second hometown. Yeah, yeah. with roller coasters. Mm-hmm. And DDP is basically from Tampa, right? Essentially, I mean, I, yeah, are, I, I thought, every wrestler I from Tampa was based at this at, point? Yeah. like so, half yeah. of the wrestlers live in Tampa. Everybody moves there. Absolutely. Yeah. I so. heard Christian might be going there too, and I know he lives in Florida. There you go. Mm. I, I can mm. see him. I, if Coco B wears in there, then Christian definitely deserves a be. Right. Oh, I mean, Christian's a, like a two or three time world champion. Of yeah, course, he's in there. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's also been. Canadian, so kudos to him. There you go. Loves the Tim. Horses. When's Lance going to get in? Oh man! Oh, I, I would hope. Are you gonna soon. put a pitch in for him right now? I would always, I always put a pitch in for him. The guy, the stuff he does behind the scenes enough should get him in there. And on top of his in ring ability, of course, I would yeah. pitch for Lance to get in there. And before someone listening to this podcast kind of shrugs that off as, you know, oh, what does that mean? You know, what he's done training after the fact. Remember that you know when Diamond Dallas Page inevitably gets into the Hall of Fame, part of his pitch is going to be what he's done since he's right. retired and helping all right. the old right. helping scott and, hall and um, helping jake roberts and believe me that's that's good that's perfectly yeah. fine by me that almost makes him mm-hmm. that's almost better than his in-ring career is the stuff sure, he's done since sure. he retired oh so. absolutely yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, and don't forget johnny rods is in there and johnny rods <laughs> I barely set foot in a wwe ring he's mostly there because of the people he trained sure it's all about the influence it's all about what you gave to the industry right not absolutely. and and not just Stuff that directly contributed even to WWE at this point, even though kind of everything that contributed to wrestling kind of funnels into contributing to WWE now, I guess, uh, to a point. Um, so even indies these days, I guess. Uh, but you know. also, I, I bet Lance's speech would be hilarious. Oh, it would be amazing. Very funny. So just from the speeches I've heard, I would yeah. sit and listen to the whole thing over and over and over. Very dynamic public yeah. speaker. Oh, and Jericho inducting him would be great too. <laughs> that yes, yeah. absolutely. We had a good discussion about Lance's training style yeah. uh, on, on the show for Indie Mayhem show. So look out for them when that's posted here in the Absolutely. next couple of weeks. Um, from that, the other big thing from the week was something that happened in England. Mm-hmm. Tiny British wrestlers duke it out. <laughs> they all look very similar except for like two. You've heard of 205 Live. This was the pilot for 175 Live. Yeah. With umbrellas. <laughs> No, they didn't. Nobody in the tournament had an umbrella, Not though. Not a single umbrella. Not wouldn't, a single umbrella. Like, Were you like, disappointed? Wouldn't it be like 66 it? Live? 66 Live? Like- Country code. Oh, we, hey, we were going by uh, by stone. We were lamenting that they were <laughs> they announced everybody in pounds, and we're like, wait, they don't do pounds <laughs> yeah. there? No. Yeah, I thought that was weird, too. So No, that's how much money they made per match. <laughs> ah, ah, pounds ah, is money yeah, there. I get pounds. it. That so not true. much is Clever. what you're saying, because all of them were like, you know, yeah, one sixty or so. You know, what, 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 when, when Balor's like bigger than like three quarters of them. You know, I'm like, who are these? Who are these tiny Neville, people? Neville looked big compared to them. Neville looked big. Yeah, <laughs> the the Brock of the cruiserweights. Neville, exactly. <laughs> the Hulk Hogan of the of the cruiserweights. Neville uh, is an action figure. He guys. is an yeah, upside yeah. down yes. triangle. Yeah. <laughs> He's amazing. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. I know, I know, Mike, you watched it. Uh, 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 Larry, you watched it at least the second half of it, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I went back and watched the first half before the second half started. But yeah, I, mm-hmm. yeah, and Matt, you too. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, just about all so, 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 what did we think of it? I, I, I liked again, complete stranger to British wrestling. Although, knew a little bit more people than I, I kind of expected to. In, in in retrospect, apparently, yeah. uh, but uh, but I thought it was <laughs> it was a different style, right? You didn't have a lot of flippy matches for the most part, mm-hmm. uh, like you kind of expected out of the cruiserweights. But it was it was interesting, and I don't understand anybody's song over there. No. Oh God, the, the crowd over there annoyed me. 
<laughs> the crowd bothered me so New much. New York also hates England. Got it. Add it to the uh, list. America hates England. So <laughs> That's true, too. Well, I mean, I, I thought they enhanced it, especially on the first night. Uh, you know, both nights. I thought the crowd kind of really did enhance the, the whole show. Because, I mean, kind of going in, I'm basically, here's a British wrestling chant for you. Who are you? You know, for all of these guys. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know who any of these guys were. So that was kind of the big difference between this and the Cruiserweight Classic. Did you come in basically knowing nothing about any of these guys? And the style was definitely a little bit more ground based. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the second night, they really, you know, I think once they kind of got through that first round, and that way it was a lot like the Cruiserweight Classic in that they, mm-hmm. once they got through the first round, they really turned them loose. Yeah. And then you got to see those really yeah. incredible matches you got to see what those guys could really do. Mm-hmm. I like that we did try and get we did try and de- <laughs> to develop a little bit of character in the first night. Like there were a few people who were like, "Oh, this guy's a mean streak. This guy will attack someone after the bell." You know, like they they definitely tried to establish stuff. And it's funny because uh, I, I watched it on demand. I didn't. I wasn't able to watch it live. They cut off the um, the the ending where the the attack went on further. Oh, they really? cut that off on yeah. They cut that off on the on demand version. So when they sh- wait. So it wasn't there at all. <laughs> no, they showed like they showed like the initial attack, and then they just um, ended it. Yeah, yeah. They, then, they did that live too. Like they, we didn't see further. Well, they they didn't oh, show Regal okay, scaring okay. the shit out of the dude though. Like afterwards. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 it, it basically ended with Regal in his face, and that was it. Oh, okay. For us right. live. So, I, so, so the part two, the the. Uh, the extended attack that was just shown for part two then right uh yeah yeah there was like a you okay. know their wwe exclusive or something like that right oh, so, okay okay yeah absolutely that bit at the end of the first night was pretty clever like it was even after the copyright it was one of those deals where you were mm-hmm. kind of like watching you're like there's the copyright all right i'll just let this thing go to the end and the next thing you know pete dunn walks across and just decides no, to attack no them. we learned like oh no wait 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 wait. <laughs> we learned this we learned, Sorry, this is midweek war mike mike, mike i got this i got this midweek war this. midweek war we discovered i wait till the made in florida on nxt so i don't miss shit yeah because apparently what did i miss last week mike you missed william regal basically setting up all of takeover yeah exactly <laughs> like i'm just like oh it's uh yeah whatever it's a, okay we're, we're done we're good i'm out uh, gargano and trompa one whatever and, and i got other shit to do and and he's like oh yeah and then takeover is this this, this and this i'm like what when where and it's like after so so you stay you stay till the end you stay until they awkwardly cut off that commercial for the next pay-per-view on on wwe network because you never know when they're going to go lucha underground on your ass it ain't over until you see dancing our truth like slide across your screen (laughs) 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 so we have some comments about about the uh, the UK tournament, I have so many sticky notes on my laptop now. Thank you, I love this. Um, uh, Bobby, Bobby FJ Town, uh, <laughs> I appreciate that they're a different crowd than we see every week. Okay, uh, and also Tina got a sticky note in the way. Uh, I beg to differ, uh, though the crowd was awesome. Not a moment in the tournament fell flat for her. I, well, yeah, they were very loud, but some of it was just to a point to hear themselves sing They're songs. They're so badly. excited to be there, Mike. I mean, <laughs> that's that's great. But the second night was better because they weren't focusing on the songs and they're actually cheering for the damn people in the match. Yes, of course. Of course. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Jesus. Jesus sucks. Really uh, kind of <laughs> got my attention. <laughs> that was definitely the point where they were kind of in it for themselves. Yeah. Right. You know, but yeah, I mean, yeah. in fairness, I mean, you know, you're working through you're there, first yeah. round matches with guys that you've never seen before. I don't right. know if these British wrestling fans yeah, have seen I, these guys either. I don't either. know if I have uh, I mean, none of those promotions on there are on TV, right? They're basically indies? I, well, we need the, somebody big rumor, the big rumor is that ICW is coming to the network. Which makes sense as much as they talked yeah. about it, but again, like they showed a promoter from every major in any promotion that I've heard of over there in the crowd, which was pretty incredible. Well, I know there's been a, a recent expansion of like the wrestling on TV over mm-hmm. there in Britain, but I do know that um, what which uh, which group did Mike just mention? Uh, I see the insane championship wrestling, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that they don't have any TV deal, and they do some of the best stuff, and mm-hmm. um, they're the ones who have been bringing in like the New Japan guys and putting Osprey on and what stuff like that. Um, and they don't even have a TV deal, wow. and they do the mat do their matches in like the tiny ring that looks like it's like four feet I by think four I've feet. Seen that, yeah. Is it is that, that kind of freaks me out? Is that one of the, and it's like surrounded by the crowd where they're like right up against it? 
I think so. Like, yeah. like those, like British yeah. wrestling is crazy. Like Tiny, that. yeah. Like I've seen, like I think I've seen like some of the Chicago promotions do that, where it's just like a club and everybody's up against the the, the side of the ring and or everything. Like, um, Beyond, I think. Um, Beyond, has of course, a setup but, like that. but Beyond does that with like wrestlers. Like the whole thing is like like in front of wrestlers and everything. And they've done more since there, of, yeah. of course. Um, like I remember uh, Pro, National Pro Wrestling Day. Um, National, National Pro Wrestling, Wrestling Day. Day. Thank you. I'm glad you guys remember. Uh, but uh, like when they came out for the Beyond Wrestling match, like all the wrestlers, like a bunch of their wrestlers came out around them and surrounded the ring and, and you know, pounded on the ring and everything like that. So, I mean, that, that was kind of their vibe. But um, but no, there's there's something like a little more wild about the way they do it in Britain. So and of course, probably more singing. So uh, ICW is on Fight TV app, and they have their own streaming service. Oh, there you also, go. some Sorgatron Media Productions are on the Fight TV app. Look them up. Um, hey, Sorg, you know what else is on the Fight TV app? Uh, Ring of Honor, probably. Impact. Impact Wrestling's on, on there. Yeah. Yep. And um, Oh, oh funny, hey, funny, actually, funny, last night I knew we're on there, too. So, <laughs> Well, funny, funny story about that. Uh, Impact aired the wrong episode of Impact on Fight TV this past week. Was it on? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was that on that or like Fight Network in Canada? I thought. I thought it was on the Fight TV app. And I thought, and, 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 the, and the thing in Canada. Oh, oh, oh I thought they, I thought that. that might yeah, be. I thought they got the same feeds. Okay. Okay, that that, that might be. I, I just I just thought that was funny because I don't think they're like connected. Pro, they're connected companies. Right? No, I, and I think they're, they're... and to be fair, there also is not a right episode of Impact. <laughs> <laughs> right. Damn it. Damn it. So you, no said, one you, you got set up for that sort. Uh, so I got really we we have someone who's lived in Canada recently. So Jackson is is Fight Network like a real thing? Yeah. Like, or is it like Destination America? No, I mean it's a real thing. I I didn't get to watch nearly as much. I was either training or sleeping. So you know, didn't really What's get supposed to, to do. Yeah, pretty much. Eat, sleep, train. Yeah, that yeah. whole that whole thing. Yeah, I didn't watch a lot of TV or anything while I was up there. I YouTube matches and that's it. <laughs> so. But yeah, it is a very, it's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. So at least oh, Canada man. can find TNA now. Yes. <laughs> More readily than we can here in America, <laughs> apparently. And then, well, that was the biggest thing. Like when, like when I was talking with Mike this week, I was like, yeah, you know what? I might be able, I'll throw impact on, try to catch up with it and see if, how it is. Right. And drop into it. Mm -hmm. uh, then I realized I can't like anywhere except for apparently they're posting their shows on their, on their YouTube account or everybody mm -hmm. else is and nobody's taking it down. So Apparently, it's not too hard to do that now. Also, uh, Wrestle Kingdom, very easy to find <laughs> right now. So, there's that. Okay. Also, prepare Here yourself for five hours. What? Oh, yes. Well, I mean, there's like... You only a, have to watch the last four matches. Well, you, technically, yeah. But, I mean, you really need to watch the Battle Royal of the Old Guys and Scott Norton um, just to set the pace. Oh, and Cheeseburger. That's so, right. So, that's only three hours. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to watch. Like yeah, you have to watch New Japan down. Rumble, and then you jump ahead and you watch the last four matches. Yeah, and you're pretty much square. That's basically it. And just one more thing about the UK tournament because I was making fun of the tiny British guys. I do love Tyler Bate. He he was amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yes. Purple pants impressed me. Uh, Mark I can't Andrews. Can't remember his name. Mark Andrews. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, with, I was so his, happy like, he did flip well over in the stunner. Tournament. Yeah. I mean, just amazing. Like, I, there's no doubt. Like, Mark Andrews is going to pop up on 205 Live at some point, at the very least, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They can't contain him to like the UK. Dude's too good. Yeah. And it's all. I, I every time they bring in someone from TNA, he's amazing. <laughs> Have they misfired on a single guy they brought in from TNA? Uh, uh, James Storm. The I was just going to say James they the brought in the Consequences Creed, and he worked <laughs> out. <laughs> They never miss <laughs> on TNA. He really guys. worked out. He really wow, worked out. He really worked out. I can't wait for DJZ's <laughs> shot. Yeah. Oh god. Burr, 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 burr. That's the next guy. That is. Um, I, hope, I really hope that's the next guy. Mm -hmm. To be honest, hometown guy, right? Yep. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, from that, okay. So this is the part where I let you guys go, except for later when I let you go for the mayhem show. No, I'm not firing anybody, Bobby. You're okay. Uh, stop having those yeah. nightmares. Uh, but. Uh, so we started this thing on the raw wrap up, uh, cause I've been, I've, uh, you know, Mike has not enjoyed raw. I have my level of excitement for raw and what would, and there was a point where math is going to get involved here. Um, and yeah, being not... that he is, you know, technically a trained scientist, uh, and we, we, we've had this before. 
Uh, so, Mike, you welcome to uh, the reoccurring segment on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, Mad Mike's Math Moment. Well, welcome, welcome to Science. Club. As I say, plug your <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt. Make sure you plug in because you need to hear this. Change his name to Math Mike. Math Mike. Math Mike. I like it. Okay. Um. So basically, I was complaining that Raw has not had a main event outside of having Rollins, Owens, Jericho, and Reigns for like the past six months. And um, now I I wanted to be fair about this, so I also looked at SmackDown. I looked at every episode in 2016 since the draft. And can, can we assume that SmackDown's top four guys, AJ, Ambrose, Cena, and Miz? I'd Sound agree. good, everyone? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I was trying to think of a top four for SmackDown. I'm, I, I'm like, okay, that seems fair. So basically, since the draft, there have been 17 episodes of Raw they have ended with some combination of those guys. There have been 16 episodes of SmackDown that ended with the four combinations of those guys. Now, um, before you say, hey, that's pretty easy, you have to remember, Raw has 12 more people than SmackDown and one more hour of programming. They have a lot more room to make new stars and to end the show with different people. And basically my point here is SmackDown is doing way more with way less because even the uh, like each each show that didn't have the top four guys at the end there they each had a Survivor Series show which I cancel <laughs> out then there was Rusev versus Sami Zayn which no one even remembers that because it was so long ago the two Sasha versus Charlotte Charlotte matches um the episode where Goldberg came back and no one else talked to him and Cesaro and Sheamus versus the club. That was it for raw, but on SmackDown Dolph Ziggler versus Bray Wyatt hype bros versus, um, uh, Slater and Rhino. You had the Wyatt versus American alpha. You have Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. Like these are guys who are big stars on SmackDown. And if you look at raw, Apart from Charlotte and Sasha, and he, not, Sasha's not even that big of a deal right now, Raw's not making new stars. They're just throwing the same four guys out there just about every week. Well, they have made at least one new star, Mike. Who? His name is Braun Strowman. <laughs> he has not made event a single Raw. He made a event last night. He was in that six man, right? Not in a solo match. Mm -hmm. Right. Not a solo match. So, so, but I think part well, of the qualification is is the combination because there's so many tag matches and 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 uh, uh, handicap matches, right? There were three weeks straight where we had just Owens versus Reigns. Wait, as really? The event. <laughs> yes, really? three <laughs> weeks straight. Did that lead up to a we had Owens versus that Reigns? Was uh, Owens versus Reigns? Probably. That is the crazy part. But I'm not going to disagree with uh, Mike as far as the. Uh, the quality of Raw versus the quality of SmackDown. SmackDown's a better show. I barely watch mm -hmm. Raw. I watch like the opening segment and then like basically YouTube clip my way to the to the to wow. fill myself in on whatever I need. But I will make time to sit down and watch SmackDown because it, it's it's just better. It just feels I, I don't know what it is. I mean I, I kinda have an idea of what it is about SmackDown, but I don't understand how they can do what they do with SmackDown and make it such an easy show to watch and you know talent on smackdown is is just getting better and better i mean alexa bliss is has it's gotten better and, and baron corbin has gotten better and um you know even american alpha is now getting their chance to shine a little bit and, and the stuff with randy and the wyatt family as absurd as it was initially it kind of works and um and the miz has been amazing and styles has been amazing and then and it all kind of still feels fresh even though you know basically they're still rotating the same four or five guys and the main event, but for some reason it still feels good while on Raw, basically all you have is basically what did Owens and Jericho do this week, and then you're just kind of making sure that nothing else major happened, you know, like Sami Zayn, you know, coercing a great match out of Braun Strowman or something like that. It seems like the um, main events for SmackDown have a point to them too, yep. though, even though they're, they are recycling <laughs> the same four guys, like you were saying, like the, it's following a consistent storyline, not just throwing... Six guys in a tag match just because they're there, you know. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like it it flows better. Right. Yeah, you know like I mean? when Sammy and Braun had that last man standing match, there is no reason that shouldn't have been the main event. There is yeah. no reason that shouldn't have main event Raw. There's absolutely no reason for it. We just had a cage mm-hmm. match on SmackDown between Alexa Bliss mm-hmm. and Becky. I mean, Alexa, not the greatest wrestler, but she's improved dramatically. And, you know. And, I, I'm getting, you know, yeah. and, I, and I'm finding myself enjoying the, and, and I think we all felt like the women's division on SmackDown was getting shortchanged. But I'm sitting here tonight and I'm like, Becky, yeah, probably my A1 right now. Alexa mm-hmm. getting a lot better, and hey, look, um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who missed SmackDown, but uh, La Luchadora was unmasked tonight, and, mm-hmm. and they're okay. They got another we- women's main eventer, so. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. a big shot in the arm for that division. Mm-hmm. You know, so we yeah, got so someone I mean, else to add I'm, to our who wore it better, you yeah. know, full body blue spandex uh, <laughs> contest that's coming up. And it, it, it progressed the storyline, too, instead of just having, like, just another championship match like going back and forth between mm-hmm. Sasha and Charlotte well, and Sasha yeah. and Charlotte. I mean, they spent Plus, weeks now you, can ha- now you can have an Alexa Bliss championship feud a Becky versus whoever La Luchadora was feud the Natty versus uh, Nikki feud and whatever Carmella is doing with James Ellsworth that is four separate feuds exactly That's they've amazing. got an hour and 15 less time on television but they've <laughs> developed three or four storylines with their women whereas on Raw you only have like Okay, we have two now on Raw, which is you know that's that's nice, and one that developed before Raw, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and like on YouTube, so, but, on YouTube, <laughs> but at the, the end of the day, ring that, and the empty ring that Tony Nese did not care about. <laughs> <laughs> but but at the end of the day, the thing that is totally baffling is that Vince McMahon is in charge of both of those shows. You know, directly. I mean, yeah. I get, right? I mean, I at don't... the end of the day, it's still him. They're different I mean, writing teams, right? I, I, oh yeah, I they gotta be. They gotta be. They're, they're They'd so have to be at this point because if they're the same, if they're the same writing team, they must get really fucked up Sunday nights and just forget to do their job on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, to me, it doesn't make sense. I mean, Vince is the gatekeeper; he can stop anything from getting on the air right. on either of those two shows. But for some reason, only the good stuff gets through. Seems to get through on SmackDown, and everything on Raw is just some forgettable junk. Yep. So I don't watch. So I don't watch all of Raw. I on. want my Monday nights back, and I'm fine with it. It's okay. And Mike, if you hate Raw right now, this goes for both mics. Stop watching it. Believe me, hey, you'll, Matt, you'll be Matt. okay. It's not a sin. If you don't like the wrestling you're watching, find different wrestling. There's a lot Matt, to choose from. I, that's I, for sure. Matt, I have to do a wrap up with Sork. I don't have to. I just need to find a new host. And plus, I, I went through I went through Christmas season where I lost my Monday nights for two straight months. So <laughs> it's always the thing. I I tell you what, no matter what is put it on 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 in front of me, even the rough years of the Triple H and the Scott Steiners and the Goldbergs, I have and will always watch Monday Night Raw. It's partially habit. Yeah. It's my it's my pro wrestling church. It's my, you know, it's it's what it's it's what I do, right? Um, and also for me, it's a place where all the rest wrestling fans definitely congregate on social media, which is partially a thing to do for <laughs> Mayhem Show to be part of that community. But also, I like being part of that community, you know. And it can be us reacting. It's the time because you know SmackDown. Obviously, with the show and everything, we can't really get as involved with it here. Other shows are pre-taped or something, unless it's a takeover pay-per-view or something. And those I like to sit down and take in because I know it's not going to be filler crap like it is on a Raw or SmackDown. And that that that's completely been the true uh, uh, phrasing for SmackDown lately. So so for me, I will always watch it, whether I like it or not. But I will accept that, right? And and I take that in because I'm like, well, I gotta know what happens on Raw. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, did you have a hand raise? Yes, yeah. we have a. We have so much happening so in the chat room. I'm trying. Right, I've been right. trying to find a spot like to for for I'm, some I'm, of it. I'm making a spot. I, I know. All I know. Right. Um, <laughs> um, like 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 uh, somebody's saying in here. I saw one that says, "I care about Jerry Lawler again after tonight with his thing oh with Dolph Ziggler." God, I mean, this yeah. is the Jerry Lawler that like segment was fucking ah. Uh, Amazing! <laughs> I yes, think Mike's was. excited. This is it. This is why we do this no, damn show. Yeah. Sorry, I swear to God, I was watching SmackDown and I saw, oh, the King's Court tonight with the. I'm like, oh fuck, I don't want to see that. And then it happened. I'm, 
blew my fucking hair back, Sork. I stood up and applauded my TV. Wow. I, haven't apl- I haven't stood up and applauded my TV for a WWE program in fucking years. Mm-hmm. Fucking oh, years. Uh, yeah, Mike, honestly, watching that, I was like, they did two, basically, I'm sorry to say this, near death or death references in one show. Mm-hmm. One with Natty saying her comment about Brett. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. It, it was like, did she just really say they're both going to die alone? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know how good it was? Wheels stood up and applauded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, you're going to hell, Mike. You're going to hell. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I love you, Wheels. Show title and then <laughs> Wheels show, uh, stood up. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Wheels stood up and applauded. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> With a Z, of course. Uh, that exactly and and again that's uh, that, that was another one with the, with the natty thing it was like oh great she's being pissy and whatever and it's kind of interesting calling out the john cena connection and then and then she dropped the bret hart thing and i missed why she was mad at bret it was was no it was because bret hart's merchandise and she doesn't <laughs> <laughs> I think I think her well, cat I think her cat's more over, uh, unfortunately. Oh, no. so, um, oh it would be though. really Come great on. if they hung Come up on, a nice so- kid shirt. Like my husband may not be able to wrestle again, and he has merch. God. <laughs> I, I was just gonna say that, Mike. I was gonna say my husband's over more than me, and he hasn't been in wrestling in two years. He's, He's so- not even a total divas anymore. Tyson Kidd, show up, be awesome, get injured, repeat. Um, but I, which is so sad. <laughs> it's a tear. I miss Tyson Kidd. I know, I, I know. But we miss you. We miss you, Tyson Kidd. Damn, Please come right. back. Well, hey, he's, he's in two K seventeen, so that's so there. You good. go, there you go. <laughs> he's Royal Rumble. Under, Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> By the way, quick quick shout out. I'll try to get some, back some of these chat comments. But big shout out to the Riz. Did his main or his uh, Riz plays games. Royal Rumble um, Pickums thing. Mm-hmm. It's on the Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. I didn't. I didn't catch who won. Uh, it's Greg Kelly. He's a great. Oh, it's always Greg Kelly. I didn't watch it. I actually didn't watch it. We just kind of presume it's Greg Kelly, no, right? Yeah. I, I, I don't actually think he was in it because I remember just I was getting sad texts from him and says there's no good Greg Kelly in this WWE <laughs> game. There's no good Cal. Good Kelly. Good Kelly. Well, He's no, a, no. Is there an he adequate Kelly creator wrestler? <laughs> Decent yeah. Kali. Decent Kali. Uh, more than adequate Kali, apparently. Uh, but Honestly, it, it's sad, Sorg. I, I've talked to Riz, and he's right. I mean, I look on the created wrestlers, and there's some frightening-looking Kalis out there. Natty, Melody in the I, chat room. Natty is going I, to be an old cat lady for reals. Uh, <laughs> big. <laughs> I will say, oh. there are some amazing Lucha Underground created wrestlers on WWE. Yes, there are. Yeah. I, I've, I've had... Um, a Pentagon Dark versus Prince Puma match. I've had a Mil Muertes versus The Undertaker match. It's Ooh. very fun. Yeah. That just reminded me. Thank you so much for Mike uh, for that, Mike. I uh, uh, did, did you see M Dog Twenties um, tweet? Oh, that was so re- good. Tweet, I guess what's his what's his uh, handle? Is it just M Dog Twenty? No, uh, Matt uh, M-, M Matt Cross M Dog. I think. But it's a picture of. Triple H with his daughter with a Lucha Underground cake ring with <laughs> mm-hmm. Son of Havoc oh. and Mil Mask Mil, Mil, uh, Mascarita Mil Mascarita Mascarita, Mascarita, yeah. Sagrada. Mascarita yeah. Sagrada. What? <laughs> so, amazing. So even yeah. even Triple H's kids are watching the Lucha, <laughs> Lucha Underground. No, no, awesome. that wasn't Triple H's kid. Well, well, who wasn't it his it, like daughter or something? No, 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 no. It was um, whoever posted it originally. His his daughter was a big Lucha Underground fan, and apparently for her birthday she had gotten tickets to the UK thing. Okay, and they were staying in the same hotel as the WWE wrestlers, and they ran to Triple H in the hallway, but he was running out to go do business or something like that. And he said, "Oh, I'll come back. I'll I'll sign an autograph or take a picture or whatever." And Triple H actually came back to their room, but for her birthday she had a Lucha Underground cake. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Wow. I did not get the whole story because all I saw was the tweet. Uh, here it is. I'm going to knock stuff over. 
here it is for you guys on the video. Uh, there it is. And, 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 and of course, Matt Cross saying, oh, no big deal. Just Triple H helping young Peyton celebrate her birthday with an effing son of have a cake. Wait, what? <laughs> so there you go. Um, there you go. By the way, that cake looks amazing. That looks pretty good. I want to know what the, I want to know what the, what, the, what, the, what the guys are made out of. Cake expert, do you have any input on this? A lot of fondant. Yeah, fondant. Yeah. Fondant. The, the, the people were made out of fondant? They're rolled fondant. They're rolled yeah, fondant. Nice. nice. That's, That's a thing you can do. So if you want to eat a wrestler... <laughs> uh, no, is that the wrong? Uh, what, no, no, is that, wrestler, if you want to eat any which wrestler, wrestler, which wrestler yeah. would you eat? We have a new big question. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I think, uh, I'm not that, answering that. This can be... I got to think about this gonna one. Go, <laughs> this is... That's this is going to go really bad. <laughs> that, might, that might be for the gold. <laughs> anyway, really, one. really badly. This has been pretty, pretty <laughs> tremendous. The, the, the chat has been awesome. Naomi just came back, just started live events this weekend. Um, what else is going on here? Monday night is. Uh, my, yeah, thank you. Melody's with me. Melody, uh, Monday night is for Raw, no matter what. Like I said, it was fucking pro wrestling church out there. Yeah. Uh, and, and spoiler alert. Just skip ahead about 10 seconds if you don't want to hear this, but in Riz Plays Games, apparently Big Cass won the Royal Rumble. And you can't teach that. Teach that. Speaking of what? Play a boom. Well, this guy's in the room. You're not going to finish it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, by the way, um, um, kind of on a related note, we did record, we promised it several weeks ago, but this weekend we did record a new Wrestling Mayhem show segment that will be coming up in the coming weeks. Uh, wrestling, the uh, WMS presents Smack Talk Theater with Papa Lunchbox. Oh uh, my God, that sounds amazing! So <laughs> I will. It's it's his. It's the British accent. We start with Enzo and Cass, and it was pretty great. It's going to be even better with classical music behind it. Uh, nice. So thank you, Rap Genius, for having some of the lyrics, by the way. And um, whatever Enzo Amore fan site we found the rest of them on. I just like put there's just a big sheet of quotes. And I was like, have at it. So I can't what? wait for the Our Truth. The Our Truth one? <laughs> I, I've got some Ascension quotes if you need some. Oh, for man. Oh, there should also be a Paul Heyman promo in there. That's right. That's right. All right, uh, but anyways, uh, on that note, I think we need to come back. We because we gotta make sure we have time for the mayhem mania here. It's already almost midnight. Um, and the big question, uh, of course, please check out our friends, uh, Slice on Broadway, sliceonbroadway.com. Uh, we might have to up that. <laughs> up that so we have more pizza to last throughout the night because we have a lot of people hanging out here uh so uh, check them out slice on broadway.com here in beachview and carnegie P pa uh down on main street and of course pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates thank you so much for supporting pittsburgh podcasting with perfect pepperoni pizza we'll be right back after this and then the big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com Wrestling Mayhem Show, still rolling here in the studio. Oh, I said rolling like Michael Cool. I feel so dirty. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's so okay. He, he, he had a good weekend of commentary. He did. Story. He That's did. Not, oh, jeez. Just... Didn't even talk about that. We had, there was a good discussion about that on, on, on yeah. uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show. And Facebook so it's group. okay for you to say that we're rolling in because I'm in, on wheels. That is true. One yeah. of us is at least rolling into this. Uh, that go. is Wheels Hot Wheels RWA on the Twitter with the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and of course with uh, 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 Mainstream Matt Jackson Argus, the IWC Rookie of the Year. This guy, Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, New York, and <laughs> Mutilator Larry Hello. drinking his milk for the in honor of Hall of Famer, in honor of Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. There you go. This is the time where we have the big question. This is a time where I think Mike tells us the big yeah. question. Yeah, I, I came up with it. Um, all right, so we just had the UK tournament for WWE. And, of course, we had the Cruiserweight Classic last year. So my big question is, what kind of tournament would you like to see WWE pull off next? And Do we disqualify go. the Women's Championships? Uh, is this already a rumor? Yeah, I think because that's a rumor already. <clears throat> yeah, so. yeah. Which, which, by the way, side note, the UK tournament feels like it came out of left field. <laughs> Yep, it like, did. It really did, you know, especially considering the lead up to the CWC. So, um, I don't know who wants to go over. Who's got one? Um, I go for it. Oh, uh, wheels. Yeah. Okay. Strange enough, I said it 
off air and stuff like right before we came back and Mike enjoyed it. So honestly, let's bring back one of the other entertaining things about wrestling, especially in WWE. Let's bring back a midget championship and have a mid championship tournament. Oh, that's good. Oh. I would really, really love that. <laughs> I'm not even joking at all. I'm not even joking at all. Masqueria Sagrada, bring back Swoggle, Short, Short Sleeve Samson. Samson. Oh, there it is. Raid the MCW. Puppet. There it is. Puppet. No, 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 no. Puppet. no. Puppet. Yeah. No puppet. Yeah, Sork. Son of a bitch. Sork, Sork. If Puppet got on a WWE-sponsored midget tournament, you know what that means. Mayhem, Mayhem bump. bump. <laughs> 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 no, damn it, damn it! But is this the 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 Twitter that I just saw? No, this is this is in the Facebook oh in the chat. Oh no, he chat. put he tweeted it too. Uh, he says, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I usually wait till the end for these, but he says sorry. clone Jack Galler and just have a Jack Galler tournament. Sixteen Jack Gallers and, my, and may the best gentleman win. <laughs> there you go. You give a nice gentleman yeah. tournament. Yeah. You know. Nice so there you go. Hey, they can do anything with the WWE Network yeah. except maybe cloning. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, dog. Uh, Wait for it, <laughs> Larry. Um, I think uh, lucha tournament would be pretty good. Okay, just straight up. Like, yeah, yeah. All yep. lucha, all masks. So all, all masks. Flying. Must Whoa, wear masks. I like yeah. it. Must wear masks. Must wear masks. Oh. No oh. unmasked you know luchadors. You do? That's just nope. wrong. Have, yeah. have the final be a mask versus mask match. Ooh. <laughs> Like, where they have to trade masks no matter what? No, loser loses. No, his no. Mask. <laughs> I'm messing with it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, Jackson, you got one? Yeah, actually, I, I'm a big technical wrestling fan. I would love to see a submissions only tournament where the winner Ooh, like can only that. win by submission. Ooh, wow. I have a whole I like tournament a of just technical wrestling, man. That's that a, I feel like something that would wear on the people, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like. Everybody's got a bum arm or leg or something yeah. by the time they get to the finals. Yeah, you got two guys going to the finals. Maybe one's got a bum leg, one's got a bum, and then you've got two guys going after each other. They're yeah. trying to break f- the other guy in half. I feel whatever. like you couldn't do the two-day thing like the UK with that. It could get pretty... Yeah. Like like every, like every everybody yeah. would just be flailing at the end right. of it. You know, so... Yeah. I like that. I like that. I'd watch I it. I like that. Too. Mainstream, right. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, think, I was on you. So. No, it's okay. I thought I heard. Uh, I, I got a couple ideas, so I was kind of like lay out. But I'd like to see uh, maybe like a rookie tournament where maybe uh, only guys. <laughs> Where'd you get the idea, idea for, for that? <laughs> um, but I, right. I think this could work. Um, I, I think this could be a really good idea. Maybe you, if you make it only guys who have just been have been on the main roster for less than a year, or maybe guys who have only it's been less than a year since they debuted on <laughs> NXT. Um, and then you have a tournament with just those guys, and whoever wins ends up being a new guy to watch. You kind of make easy way to make one or two guys, and then give them a title shot or something. Yeah, give them a title shot, and then whoever the losers are, you just send them, put them back in the oven to cook some more. There so. you go. All right, um, I, I got one. Mine would be to bring back the one night King of the Ring, but okay. with mm-hmm. a caveat: only people who have never been a world champion are allowed to enter. So it's kind of like the old one where it was like a stepping stone kind yeah. of thing. Yep. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like like Sheamus shouldn't have had it because he's definitely had a world title. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think that would be really interesting. I think it's a good way to get like guys who are doing well in the main roster, but like you won't have like a Dolph Ziggler in there. Like mm-hmm. you can replace Dolph Ziggler with Kalisto or or Baron Corbin or something like that. Like you could or push Braun. The, or Braun. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> You can have Braun, Cesaro, Sami Zayn. Like, you can have a lot of really, really fun matches. But it eliminates a lot of the old guard, too. If I can add to that, it might even just be a good thing to let NXT take over the King of the Ring. Because then you've got a bunch of guys that obviously aren't on the main roster yet. Just to have an NXT takeover and let them take over King of the Ring. I think I would, I would love to see that. Ooh, wait, 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 by the way, uh, Melody, Melody, and Tina are both both talking about women's tournaments. And like I said, kind of off the table because sure. because we, there's a rumor already, right? But Melody kind of added to it, Queen of the Ring tournament. <laughs> oh, I so like down that. for there that! Go, I love, I love so that. down for that. Yes, I've only seen that in the Indies. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> or how about how about women's tag team tournament? Yeah, yeah. you're taking all the good yeah. ones. I gotta still put one out there. Fine, fine, fine. Six man tag tournament. There it is. Oh. Nice. Now, Sorg, for this, 
do you reunite the shield? Absolutely. At least for at least for the, the tournament. Sh- the shield, the club, the new day, Bray and uh, the Wyatt family, some yeah. some iteration of the Wyatt family, and and and, and now you've got Kurt back. You can team him up with American Alpha and the presence. Yes. In the- oh yes, yes yep. Matt. Oh, He'll do one match. Oh, wow. Just stand on the apron, Kurt. Yeah, there Chad you go. and Jason will take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, and, uh, Kurt, you get don't the hot take off your mind. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> I got the high spot for this. So the titles are presented by um, the re- remaining Freebirds. There you yes. Go. There you yes. Go. Right? I like it. It has to like be. It. It, 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 you start the trio thing uh, for the most part. Uh, don't give them a king di- gimmick afterwards. He says, yeah. uh, "Bobby in there." What is this? What is this? What does this say? Does it say turtles? Twitter. Twitter. Oh, there's something happening. There on Twitter. are turtles on Twitter. I don't know. I, I swear it looks like turtles. Because I wrote it fast. It's it's twit twit Is that T W I T T Z? Is that what's happening here? Chad the Twitch. We got to talk about this. You know what? We got to talk you about your what? handwriting. You know what? I know mine sucks. I want to talk about turtles on Twitter. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> turtle, turtle. Um, Chad the Shad. Chad the Shad is on Twitter. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, yeah, I'm going six man. Then that, that, that's go. kind of my thing. I'm like, like Ring of Honor has a six man now. Like they have time yeah. to yep. do that on that show. Um, that's another discussion. I know, Mike, <laughs> entirely. I didn't say anything. I, know, I didn't say I know. anything. I'm just acknowledging. I know you're thinking it out there. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so yep, yep, absolutely. Uh, but anyways, all right. Um, and is it the, and Chad the chat on Twitter. But oh, 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 wait, wait. While I'm getting that pulled up, uh, Bobby of J Town in response to the uh, submission tournament. There you go. Uh, yeah, well, no, no, wait for it. Oh, okay, let's hear this. <laughs> um, he says he says he just signed up for submissionsonly.com. It's a dating site, but I'm thinking about giving up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and mayhem oh, points. Oh, oh, mayhem Bobby. points. Chad Shad <laughs> wants to see a multi-promotional King of the Ring. I mean, with oh, all the yeah, indies that they're great. hooking up with? Yeah, that, that could be. If that, that happens, like a true kind of battle of the promotions kind of thing, if they get all that kind of lined up. Like like one guy through. from eight different indies? And, <laughs> oh, that, that would, no, yeah. that would be really fun. Yeah. Like, I mean, it would be like a, a it would be kind of like a, a super indie tournament or, or something, right? <laughs> super rookie yeah. tournament. Yeah, super, uh, yeah, super rookie the tournament. I like that. Come on. Book you it. Could, you could crown a legitimate <laughs> king of the indies. Yeah. There you go. King of the indie <laughs> tournament. Wow. <laughs> it's like, this is the guy that's going to be on top of, we don't sign him. And now we will send him back into the wilderness to, <laughs> send to work <laughs> shows in front of. Um, but front of his people. bookings will yeah. go up because he can say, I am WWE's king of the indies. <laughs> that's king the king thing. I mean, that, that, that's the thing. Whenever like somebody goes to NXT and leaves, it'd be like, they, now they can say yep. NXT's yay, this guy, yeah. you know, and, and, it, and everything. Like it's, it's just a, you know, I mean, how many people kind of, you know, maybe not the indie, you know, darling watching people, but like how many people like, oh, he used to be in WWE. Like that's an automatic, you know, yeah. kind of rub for them in, in most people's eyes. So <laughs> not that he really promotes himself like that or anything like that. But um, yes, just making sure there's no comments, no more comments. Here. Guys, it's time for that moment that we've been waiting about 300 days for. Yeah, I think is that math right? Is, is your math, your math is sound. Guess. We'll have Mad Mike check that math for the next show. Uh, but it is time for the Mayhem Mania. That's right. That's right. Matt Carlin's here to Jackson, preside. Jackson doesn't know what this is. I don't. All right, so, enlighten me. First of all, this it's not a joke. It's a competitive thought experiment. Hey, I, uh, I would never take this as a joke. Sometimes it gets funny. Sometimes it gets funny. Was <laughs> um, well, it a joke or not? Because I don't know. And, 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 <laughs> and sometimes it gets downright vindictive. Sometimes, sometimes it gets personal. Sometimes, we, sometimes it gets out of we hand. We almost lost friendships gets over this. It's dark. Yeah, uh, it does, may, kind of. <laughs> the, the goal of so, Mayhem Mania is for us to book our own WrestleMania, except oh, okay. we essentially have to play by the same rules as Vince. So whereas okay. you would sometimes have fantasy booking where – where you will, you know, make Daniel Bryan suddenly healthy enough to wrestle at WrestleMania. You can't do that sure, in this little game. Sure. You got to basically play by the same rules as Vince. Absolutely. Now there is some room for fudging, <laughs> you know, sure. especially this yeah, year. I love room for because, fudging. Because you know, Vince has some money, and money can make a lot of things happen. Oh, um, so basically, we we're looking it. for yeah, anything right? that could happen yeah. within the realm of reality. So everyone okay. that um, you might want to use in a match comes in their current emotional, contractual, <laughs> physical sure. state. Um, since this gotcha. is the first round, we're going to try to create eight matches 
among the people that we have kind of gathered okay. around here. And I think we've got enough and maybe we'll make Bobby jump in from the chat room or something like that to, okay. Uh, okay. if we need an extra person um, or not, or I'll be happy to make a match myself. Let me know, let me know if you need it and we'll, we'll, we can pull him in. Yeah, for sure. Um, why don't you go ahead and do that? Um, uh, uh, Mike, can you pull him in? So, uh, yeah, sure. Jack, you kind of like wait until the end, and we'll kind of let some no, of the veterans wait, wait. go first. Mister, Absolutely. Are you gonna do I am a rookie, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to create eight matches, and then the real fun will begin next week, because that's when we'll bring in about five guys a week for each round, okay. and each guy will get to make a single change to the card. Okay. And basically, the matches that survive three rounds without being changed, those kind of graduate to a super card where they're protected and that gotcha. becomes what we're building up toward. Okay. Um, so basically when you're creating a match, you want something that's uh, ingenious and creative and, Absolutely. and just would be something that no one would ever be- think of tampering with. Yeah. But then you also have to accept, accept the fact that one of these idiots out here is going to probably tamper with sure, it. Sure. Sure. Um, it's been known to happen. <laughs> We've had perfect mayhem mania matches yes. that seemed like they were just <laughs> locked there's no doubt no yeah, one's gonna mess yeah. with this and then we have some random guest on and he doesn't know the score and, and he and fucks he it up for everybody <laughs> nice um we had a yeah, match Mike. sponsored by lucha underground last year and we it did. got destroyed we did legitimately <laughs> nice. legitimately like yeah yeah but i mean yeah anyway as far as um no real boundaries on uh, what you can create you still create like a battle royal or like an 18 man tag team match i mean come on let's be let's leave something for everyone leave else some stuff out that's what um, wrong yeah. next week anyways Hmm? Is that right next week? Uh, uh, so who should we start with, uh, Sorgi? I'll let you uh, decide who you start with. Alphabetical order. That means, well, is Bobby in here yet? No. Bobby is not in here yet. All right, let's go the other way. Well, you know way. what? Mad Mike is good at this. Mad let's Mike, let Mike, yeah, Mike, Mad Mike's Mad Mike go first. Let him go. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 right. then we'll, um, and then we'll let you go, Sorg, because you've actually won this competitive thought experiment before. So Cool. I mean, Oh, and here's another thing I wanted to Did mention I? to you guys. Um, when... Whoever creates the, a match that graduates, they get kind of a reward. Oh, um, cool. They get to basically punish anyone they choose. And nice. we have kind of like random things. We have like a, a wheel we can spin that has like random names of undercard guys. <laughs> wheel, or of guys that, no, wheel of jobbers. Yeah, wheel of jobbers. Wheel, wheel of jobbers. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, wheel of, the, wheel of NXT women not named Asuka. We've got, you know, all sorts <laughs> nice. of other we should, bizarre oh, and cool oh, things man. that we've got in mind. Matt, um, we got to have the Wheel of 205 Live this year. The Wheel oh, of 205 wow. Live. <laughs> That's that definitely like going to be an idea. Um, and not just... What we got? Okay. And also, so not only will you get to hand out punishment if your match graduates, sure. you also get a what we call an eliminator. And basically, um, if you've seen this uh, thing play out over the last couple of years, uh, some people have a tendency to use names that other people are not very fond of seeing them like conjure up bringing celebrities or, you know, they want to see Sting on retire. And uh, we kind of get into this gray area sometimes. And uh, basically the eliminator is kind of a reward for someone who gets a match to graduate. Okay. And basically you can use your eliminator to eradicate someone from Mayhem Mania so they could not be used at all. So if okay. you're like, fuck you, I don't want to see Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in a match this year. I'm eliminating him. <laughs> That's basically. I a don't want so to see Steven Amell in a uh, gotcha. for getting a match. Also, to we did do. Do you have we to did. name the type of match also, or just the people in it? No, well, no. You don't um, have to name the type of the match because uh, stipulations are something that we do in the Patreon in the bank round. That's right. Um, that's right. So, just straight uh, matches now. And if it sounds <laughs> yeah, like these right. rules are kind of convoluted, you're absolutely right. And I kind of make them up as we go along. <laughs> but awesome. this is the third year we've done this, and uh, if you want to see how messed up it's gotten before, just go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Wildly popular. Bingo. This is consistent, by the way. These, <laughs> these videos, because I, I usually take these and, and put them by themselves. Um, somebody needs... Oh, we have to figure out who does the articles, too. Um, but uh, we put the videos by themselves, and they're consistently still liked and commented on on Facebook from last year. Yeah. So... Mostly yeah. people saying, why did you change that match? It was yeah. perfect. But <laughs> we'll let that go. Um, let's go. Mad Mike, let's get this party started, because uh, All right. we got places to go. <laughs> All right, I- I'm coming in hot. Um, oh, no. no, no, I've been thinking about this ever since you told me Mayhem Mania was starting tonight, Matt. I've been thinking about this yeah. all day, and I just now finalized it in my head. I'm opening up with a tag team match. Okay? Okay, Teddy Long. Playa. Yeah, no, a straight up tag oh. team match, Playa. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> uh, we're going to have Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, the American Alpha. Against mm-hmm. 
Cesaro, and Cassius Ono, the kings of wrestling. Oh, you Ooh. son of a bitch. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Wow. That's how you start Mayhem Mania. You know, I thought I knew Damn. where you were going there with the other tag team, but you, you, you definitely took it to another level. So, uh huh. What was the first tag team? I missed it. American Alpha American versus Alpha versus Cesaro Kings of and the Kings of yeah, the Kings of Wrestling. That's yeah. good. That's good. I was and just you can see totally, Jack could Gallagher. totally happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, not absolutely. gonna happen, but it should. Yeah. So that's yeah, kind of what yeah. we're going for. <laughs> okay. Okay. Man. So. All right. I got this. I got this. And I think um, Larry is going to appreciate this. That's good because Larry can go good. next. I hope I didn't. I don't. I hope I'm not taking your yours no, no. or ahead. anything. But I would love to see the rematch on the biggest stage of them all. I'm sorry, oh. the grandest stage of them all. Got to get that marketing right. The granddaddy right. of them all. Yeah, the granddaddy of them all. We still say that. Is no, that? They no. not allowed to say that. Sports Entertainment Super Bowl. Sword. I mean, it is. It's like yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. 30s. I mean, that's pretty old. I don't know if 30 year olds are granddaddies, sort of. Oh, uh, some countries. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but I think uh, Hall of Famer. This oh, year, man. Kurt Angle. Oh man! Oh man! He's gonna take on somebody that uh, is gonna take umbrage with his fame. Somebody that he's uh, uh, given a bloody nose before. Oh, I like it. Yeah, Samoa Joe. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. I like it. Let's make umbridge. it happen. Yes, my sir. favorite Orlando's gonna thing. Love it. My <laughs> favorite thing from TNA wrestling was that feud. Hands down. Seconded by all the three ways with uh, uh, Joe, AJ, and Christopher Daniels, which, yep. man, we're almost able to have that happen in <laughs> we're WWE. Almost so there. close. We're, a, we're, a, we're gonna buy a ring of honor. We're, we're a ring of honor right away from that happening. Anyway. Third would be Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Fun fact. Bobby. Mr. Anderson was eliminated uh, last year by oh, someone. Yeah? He got, yeah, he was. You know. <laughs> He's probably the most legitimate wrestler who got eliminated last year. And we all, I don't even think he got put into a match. I think someone like preemptively was like, let's just get him out of the match. That was Riz. Wow. <laughs> like, no, it's not happening. Not happening. Yeah, no, no, it's not happening. I think it was, but he had just gotten, he just left TNA like the week before. And like <laughs> yeah. someone came left- in and you're like, you know what? Let's just stop this before they even get yeah, too no, far. No, you know? it's, it's we not all left him as Mr. Kennedy, but just... No. Yeah, we're yeah, just going to bring him back. Not good. It's Mr. Kenny. It's the good years. It's Marie or uh, yeah. behind enemy lines years, right? So, all right. I got one. Who's next? Yeah. Is, is Will's next? It. Larry. He's going, he's going. Larry. Larry's next. Okay. Larry's next. Okay. We right. have we have a protocol here. <laughs> I just okay. I I made a list. So ah, that's yeah. right. okay. So <laughs> my pick. You just made a list. Is going to be Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. All right. All right. I can, see that. I, I can actually see that, that happening. That actually yeah, yeah. It might happen. So, the, but do you care more about it now than we did three months ago? Hmm. Yeah. A little bit, slightly. Yeah, much. It's more interesting now, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, if they can keep the momentum going. I, I, I mean, they're dragging it out pretty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, like yeah. I said it's earlier, I, it it shouldn't work, but I, I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Okay. Hot Wheels. All right. I'm going off what Sora said, but I'm going to make it a little bit better by taking, since one person is not there, I'm going to add this person. So I'm going to put a triple threat match. Are you ready? I'm ready. AJ Styles. Samoa Joe. Nope. Can't do it. No, you can't. You can't can't do Samoa Joe. He's already been Already been used. Yep. We can do it next week. If you want. You you can change it. He's already. Oh, actually, these. no. There we go. Okay. AJ Styles, Nakamura, Ooh. singles match. Ah, god dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there goes, there goes, there goes Bobby's. There goes straight Bobby's. up Styles versus Nakamura. Uh, Sounds good. Bobby, I gotta, I gotta Bobby was going to do time. Jack Gallagher versus Nakamura. Yeah. No, I'm just going to do Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher versus Jack Gallagher versus Jack Gallagher. Versus yeah, there, Jack you Gallagher. Goes. there you go. <laughs> I told you this has to be within the realm of reality. Know, we cannot we clone our favorite wrestlers. Hey, no, hey, no, no, hey. No. If they. If you can clone a sheep, you can clone a jack. Uh, ooh, I got weird. Dolly, uh, Dolly uh, I do not have Dolly video. Sheep. I do not have. I, 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 he's 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 in the in the thing. There is video, but I just don't have it set up. And he'd have somebody else's name. So and voice of Bobby F J Towns. What is he next? No, but, yeah, let's let Bobby go next, and then uh, we'll let Missy the producer do a match. Missy here. the producer. Yeah, you're all right. Do one. Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead, hmm. Bobby. Well, since somebody stole Shinsuke Nakamura from me. Um, 
I'm going to go with the other king of Japan. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Finn Balor. Since we didn't get this in NXT versus Hideo Itami. Mm. Nice. Like, we, we, we kind of did, but we kind of didn't get a, a resolution for the whole it, who hit Finn or who hit uh, Itami. Nakamura or Itami. I think that would be kind of fun. I'm going to hope that and both it, of those guys and, are healthy enough for wrestling. And he, he yeah. tweeted tonight, Hideo Itami tweeted tonight, I am ready. Okay. Ooh. Well, and Finn looked Finn, like he was Finn's just about ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Finn picked Finn. up a child, so he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean Tyler Bate? <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Wow! He picked him up and then Tyler Bate waved. That small person can <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that small 19-year-old will beat the shit out of you. That is right. With the full Damn millennials. You, uh, going, back, going, back to that real quick, going back to that real quick, did you guys know that uh, Pete Dunne, Tyler Bate, and uh, Trent Seven are a stable in progress? Huh. Yep. I didn't know yep. that, yep. and that's awesome. Only because the internet told me about yeah, afterwards. That's the same thing here, yeah. I'm glad I didn't know that in advance of the tournament, though, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, me too. Because... But then it was no. just kind of a nice surprise that, that they worked they so well. Show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Missy, do you have a? Okay. Can you make a match? Yeah, can you, you yeah, pull, I, pull I over? Couple... Pull over to the mic, please, as much as you can, without making it awkward. Time to get some beef. It's into okay. This, we're all uh, friends. We're all friends. <laughs> let me let me that while you move that. Okay, you move it, move it, move it off camera. Don't break anything. It's going to be okay. What what, you, what you got? All right. Who who do we have booked already? Uh, so far we've got American Alpha versus uh, the Kings of Wrestling. We've got Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton, AJ Styles versus Nakamura, Finn Balor versus Hideo Itami. I'm going to go Jack Gallagher mm-hmm. versus Jack Gallagher and Simon Gotch. Oh, oh I like it. And That's a awesome. loser shaved his mustache. <laughs> no, oh, no steps, no oh, steps, no steps, no steps. Okay. No. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, though, know, implied, implied stipulation, just like last year whenever Sorg, every time he mentioned Jericho, it was implied that Jericho would be wearing a suit for the entire match. Um, okay. yeah, implied mustache was it was on implied the, line. the entire match? I don't remember that part of it. I, it was always Chris it, Jericho, parentheses, in a suit. It was, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it spilled over into Luke Harper in a suit, and then it was Dean Ambrose Missy, in a are suit. They, yeah. Missy, are they going to parlay first? Of course. There you go. Okay. So there you go. I cannot wait to see the I forfeit match. Tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's... Cannot oh, it was wait. amazing. It was like, amazing. these show I really, really, really want to watch live, and I can't now. <laughs> Damn it. It was amazing. Uh, <laughs> All right, so Jackson, do you kind of figure out how this uh, is working here? Yeah, yeah. All right, you got anything Complete on Complete madness, right? Okay. You got to book this thing proper here. It's a match I wanted to see a while ago, but I wouldn't mind seeing it now. I want to see Brock Lesnar and Kevin Owens. All right. Nice. 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 Bravo. Nice. Bravo. Prize fight. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Prize fight. Legitimize the prize fighter right there. It should wow. actually be for like a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, it should be. No, the loser for, just has to have for the whatever head Brock's. Yeah. For whatever Brock's paycheck was from UFC. There you go. <laughs> I think it was two million. There you go. I think he made two million dollars. Okay. Two million dollars. Jeez. Uh, well, that's it. So uh, nope, I guess. Nope. One more. Oh, there's one more. Who's that? I'll take this. Oh, one. you got the one. You got one. I'll show of you guys course. how it's done. I usually get to jump in here, but we need eight matches, so I'll. I'll, I'll I'll take the sacrifice and I'll uh, <coughs> okay. I'll, I'll come up with something because I do have a good idea for a match. Here's what we're gonna do: three way tag team match. Okay. Mixed tag, three way mixed tag what? match. Ooh, the Miz okay. and Maurice what? versus Dean Ambrose and Renee Young oh. versus Rusev and Lana. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Why not? Total Holy divas. Clap, 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 clap. Total divas. Rusev is my favorite total clap, diva. Clap, clap. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Rusev talking about his legs on total divas is pretty amazing. Oh, like, no. I think he's going to have some spin off soon. <laughs> Rusev's total. parents are amazing. Total Rusev's? Yeah. Total Rusev. To- hey, total Rusev. Total, total Machka. Total Machka, yes. <laughs> <laughs> total Machka. <laughs> Show title. Uh, anyways, um,. I what's next? So that's it. Yeah, that's it. We got our eight matches. So I'll uh, I'll recap them real quick here, even though we kind of already did. Uh, American Alpha versus Cesaro and Cassius Ono, aka the Kings of Wrestling. Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. 
Finn Balor versus Hideo Itami. If they make it there, ambulance will bring them to the arena. Um, Jack Gallagher versus Simon Gotch. Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens. And The Miz and Maurice versus Dean Ambrose and Nene and versus Rusev and Lana. Um, so next week, we'll have, uh, hopefully we'll have five people. Mm-hmm. And uh, those five people will get to make a single change to this card. They'll be able to like swap people between matches or they could uh, trade... Um, or, or they could. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or you can, can add. I always forget what the original moves are because I always end up changing like what they're called. Um, they can. You could swap like an individual from one match yeah. with an an individual from another match. Okay. You can add a person or a tag team to an existing match, or you can just kill the match entirely and bring in a new match with all new people. So those are the three basic moves that you can make. And, I already uh, we'll know see what survives. Next week. Everything on Mike here looks already. pretty good, but we've seen pretty good before and it hasn't made it so <laughs> there's several weeks it all looks do. very plausible early on but as you'll see mm-hmm. over the next coming rounds you'll see people will do things uh I, someone will make a change that mad mike doesn't like he'll scream god damn it um, <laughs> yep. Yep. basically that's how it two. goes and um yeah basically we'll get to the point once we get into the punishments and things like that uh <laughs> yeah you'll start to enjoy that because we got a lot of good ideas for, good stuff uh, one of my favorite things like over the yeah. year <laughs> So uh, looking forward <laughs> to how this rolls out. And uh, uh, Dangerous Dan Hooven will be with us next week. No so no. we have to. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Have fun. Oh, Matt, Matt, can we all agree Ryback cannot get booked? Why not? Why can't he get booked? <laughs> the things he why says why on... Can't, because why, the... why, would, why could... In our reality, playing by the same rules as Vince, Vince isn't here. Dan Hooven has taken over WWE. Why wouldn't he immediately bring oh, Ian oh, right oh, back oh, for WrestleMania? Oh, oh. <laughs> Why wouldn't that be the first move? I want to ask him the tournament question. I, I guarantee w- w- Hooven will book a match. <laughs> we'll ask him about his reasoning for doing it, and his answer will be, have you seen her? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, all right. Morgan will be involved. <laughs> last, time, last time he was here, I got comments of, please don't book him again. <laughs> Sorg, <laughs> Sorg, you know you know Ryback's getting added to one of these matches. I know he is. I know he is. And I... let's take let's take bets right now. Which match Ryback? Oh, we're is all going to go for it. To. Oh, what's he going to be yeah, added let's... to? I think he's going to take on Brock Lesnar. I was going to say he's taking. It's going to be it's going to be the Dan Hooven uh, beefcake match. There it is. So. <laughs> Brought I to you mean, by the secret. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and Jimmy right, Johns. Maybe, maybe. May um, but uh, but uh, you got you got your ears on there. We got make. Yep. We have. I don't know if I don't know if uh, uh, Gars is doing the graphics again. We haven't really checked all this. Yeah, stuff Yeah, we haven't out. farmed out the we, graphics. Yeah, department. yeah. Garza so, was turning those around pretty. He fast, was. But. He was really good at it. And I don't know. He's been kind of here and there on on. on what, what are you doing it? I can do it. If Garza all right. Can. All right. We'll give it a shot all then. Right. And uh, Sorgi, exactly. I'll uh, I'll pull together the. Uh, uh, a post so we can uh, keep everyone updated on go. what's going on on go. uh, wrestlingmayhemshow.com and everyone can see what's, uh, what's happening and follow along. the and- mayhem. Last question okay. tonight. What did you guys learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I'll go first, Sorg. I-, I learned I have a new favorite version of John Cena. Oh, God. No, no. <laughs> that new favorite version of John Cena is guy in the background of an and one video what? because that's ba- that's basically what he was doing in the opening promo with Miz and AJ Styles <laughs> because he was, mm-hmm. he was just behind him like yo man are you going to talk to you like that <laughs> oh, really i need to watch that again we were yes. still we were still wrapping yes. the show wow. cena cena was um, he barely talked in the promo because AJ didn't let him talk Miz didn't let him talk but um, Miz called out AJ for the soccer mom hair, and hmm. it, and Cena was like, "Yo, man, are you gonna let him talk to you like that?" Yeah, and then he went around. Uh, the back. That's awesome. It was amazing. He is kind of rolling <laughs> back to that old original gimmick, right? Well, he's he's old man Cena, and he it's is. fantastic. He yeah. does not give a fuck, but he gives, <laughs> like, but he gives gonna... all the fucks at the exact same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna bring back the chain. You bring out the chain gang. With the lock chain on it, gang yeah. is the yeah, click. Yeah. That's right. Chain gang. Word life. Word life. I guess that bit is over man, again. That bit is over New a decade old. Inc. Just wanted to say that for everyone who actually remembers that. Yeah. You're old. 
What's old is new that. again, man. man Bring it back. Pound it, you know, b- b- banging that album on uh, on Google Music, man. It can happen. Um, <laughs> did, man. Pick it up on Napster. Yeah, they did up on the Napster. The uh, the other thing that wasn't Napster, uh, Kazam. That's the one. That's mm-hmm. what I'm thinking. Because that go. was the Shaq movie. That's the yeah. Shaq movie. Bobby <laughs> of J Town. <laughs> LimeWire. Lime 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 Wire. Bobby of J Town. What'd you learn? <laughs> I what? learned two things. Okay. Um, I learned that, like I said in the chat room, um, they made Jerry Lawler relevant again by bringing back something that happened in the past that everybody might have forgot not forgotten about, but just forgot that Dolph Ziggler was involved in and brought it and, and made it part of the storyline. And um, one of our fr- friends of the, sh- friend of the show, um, uh, Wrestling with Subtitles, said about tonight, he was like, oh, they brought Lawler's heart attack back in, and that's... That- and he just went, ugh. And I'm like, watch it. It's amazing. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, That's so one of those things. You gotta, you can't just read the dirt sheets on that. You got to take it in context, right? Yeah. So. Um, the other thing I learned today, I, I listened to a different podcast today. What? Um, what? What? How <laughs> dare you? Cut his mic. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. Damn it. It's the same <laughs> mic as yours, Mike. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no. Seriously, though. Seriously. Um, they mentioned that the Emelina like premiering soon ads are kind of like one eight hundred ads for like sex line. <laughs> <laughs> it is <laughs> because you've been because, so paid. No, yeah, you've been waiting so long, <laughs> and it, I it blew my mind today. It was, it was just so funny and so perfect. Damn and it, Bobby. I, I I was like I was like this is amazing. Just so to check, yeah, I, I there is no <laughs> emelina.xxx. Just, just, <laughs> just you should probably that get off. that. You know, you know, they you are know how much it is for a dot triple X. <laughs> I just hope they don't bro display her. Is it, it nine ninety nine for the first minute? Hey, hey, hey <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, admit it. If she came out with two male Funkadactyls and they were Blake and Murphy, you would love oh it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call him up. Uh, Bobby, it, it kind of makes me think of this whole Emelina thing, watching us going, this is kind of like watching porn on Dalla and watching the loading screens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scramble. <laughs> Emelina is going to come out and she's just going to be a blob. <laughs> like, scrambled. Just actually let her go because those were filmed six months ago. Uh, Larry, what'd you learn this week in wrestling? Um, I learned that dreams do come true. <laughs> That's all. All right. There you go. Drink him out. Drink him out. Drink him out, buddy. Uh, over the couch, Jackson Argus. Hey. What'd you learn? I learned that my, my dreams of ever wrestling Kurt Angle in the Indies have probably died. Um, no. I feel like. I don't know. He still has a couple matches. I know. Up. Cody I know. Rhodes in like March. I, I saw that. I saw the announcement and I went, oh, his booking price just went up so high. <laughs> I'm not worth it yet. Guy that's have... never been in IWC, by the way. Yeah, I know. I know. You might be able to instigate a bar fight here in Pittsburgh. There's an idea. Right there. <laughs> Smash some Molson's and milk jugs. There Bring we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's homogenized. It has there. to be Molson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Canada Dry, whatever. <laughs> whatever you got in front of you. Amazing. That should be your nickname, Canada Dry. <laughs> Canada, Canada Dry, Canada, Canada Dry, dry Jackson here. Argus. That like sounds that, that sounds kind of like a porno advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try Canada. Hey, dry. you never know. Joey Ryan got sponsored by porno. That is true. That's true. That yeah, is yeah, true. That's true. That was, yeah. Oh, explain they, to They've somebody. got money. Have you heard how much they charge for their triple X domains? It's crazy. <laughs> they've got a lot of cash. <laughs> Should I research this? Or? Yeah, I, I encourage you to. J A X X X. Oh, it's a oh, great oh, 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 marketing. It. There we go. Oh. Yeah. It's right. It was there the whole time. It was you guys. there. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna come into the IWC. And plumber's gonna be like, "So you're Canada Dry now?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're better, gonna change all your shirts. Blue. Yeah, well, all you could shirt. you could just call yourself Triple X. I mean, you know, the movie's coming out again. It's there relevant. There you go. There you go. Well, they they are Equis. still doing those, huh? We could be Dos Equis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, Trace, as you Trace as you Equis. as you yeah. pro- proceed, you will earn yeah. additional X's. There we go. So the you most, will go to Dos Equis. 
It's like and then you're you're interesting interesting the triple X. Try seconds, and then yeah. you don't even know want to know what happens. You when don't the know. Four X's. Know. Don't want to know. What the four X. The most interesting man in IWC. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that. that ain't bad. That's not bad. That. You grow okay. beard out. I can't believe we're giving them all these ideas for free. It's, that's right. Yeah, I'm just I'm pocketing all of this. First ultimate X match in IWC. There it is. Ultimate triple X match. There it is. It's just a copy of Playboy. The good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when, when I get into a ring, I prefer Stray Seckies. There it is. There it is. Oh, it. These, all these. Uh, yeah. Matt, what'd you learn? <laughs> I, I learned that uh, Jax Nargis is IWC Rookie of the Year. I did learn that. Did it. I understand. He might be the IWC Rookie of the Year. I am. For an entire year, too. He's got the something whole going. whole year. Yeah. He gets to keep the rookiness and, and carry it around like the Stanley Cup. I think I like him for next year too. Yes, um, two-time rookie Start of the year would be great. Now. Yeah. Serious, question. Serious question. Serious question from the producer. What do you got? Do they make you return the shirt at the end of the year? Hell no, I'm not time? return the damn shirt. <laughs> Get hung up in my house. Next to my participation uh, trophy for finger painting in grade school. It's going go. right up there. there my eighth go. grade uh, science fair project or my social studies on Godzilla. That's where it's going. Nice. Up with all that stuff. That's great. Uh, Matt, you uh, but, but, but seriously. Yeah, but seriously. Um, if I, learned... I can be serious for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it in there. All right. Snuck that in. That was uh, the name of my wrestling column when I was in high school. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I, I can be serious for a moment. Wait, wait. Yeah. That's a whole other story we have to get back to. Bobby. Yeah, I do. By the way. Yeah. Randomly threw gold. that out there. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. gold for next there week. That's gold for next week. You can tell me about that. Sure. Yeah. Matt? Uh, I learned that uh, Michael Cole still got it. Oh man! As far as the okay. wrestling oh, commentary man. goes, he's pretty good. Put him there next to a British guy. Sounds perfect. Yeah. So, no Vince McMahon in his ear. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean, I, again, I, I maybe he did, and it just worked. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we have to always well, remind ourselves that like the good, the things we like about WWE are not necessarily because Vince has nothing to do with it. Like we have to accept the fact that when we see something we like on WWE, yeah. it might be because of Vince McMahon. Right. That's a hard thing to really to admit, you know, because yeah. all you want to do is be like, no, it's this old man. He's ruining everything. But then you see something good and you're like, that must have been Triple H. You, know, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hypothetical, hypothetical here. What if Vince McMahon was backstage at the, the, the uh, tournament and he's like, I gotta talk to Michael Cole, but I'm gonna do it with an with a with an English accent the entire time. No, 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 no. Because we know we know what happens when he's trying to disguise himself from um, from Swerved. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It doesn't work Pick at all. Boxes. You need to put Bobby, lunchbox Bobby. on the on the Vince McMahon accents. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He might hurt himself. Bobby, <laughs> I, you're, I, Bobby, you're lucky. I can't do a Vince McMahon impression and English okay. impression at the same time. Oh, uh, <laughs> random thing from the chat room. Brian Bowers is still out there, bro. Kane and Taker versus Broken Matt and Brother Nero Barry deletion match for WrestleMania. Nice. <laughs> I, yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Hey, you know what? At the end of February, when their contracts are up, that's a possibility. All right, can't there call until the end of February. There you go. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, they're already kind of everywhere uh, with the, with the bring of our yeah. uh, What did I learn from wrestling this week? Britain has the nicest looking venues. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! Yeah. It's like Mike. I, I think I've said this to you somewhere else, but but it was like I was saying it. It felt like the Hammerstein Ballroom if they had room. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Because it, it actually was. You know, Missy, you were going nuts over the box seats. Yes. Yes. Very excited over the box seats. They were very very nice. Oh, there you go. So I don't know. I, I. It sounds like they're going to do a weekly show here eventually with this, um, or it's the most short lived title ever. Uh, but uh, but uh, <coughs> I don't know if they if they'd have it there. I feel like it's going to be a nasty nice thing. That's a whole other discussion. But uh, but anyways, <coughs> guys, thank you so hey, much. Hey. What? Oh, I did you did you learn something this week? I did learn. Did something. you Good. Learn get over to the mic? Snuggle up to the mic over there. I did learn something Snuggle this week. Up. I learned that the WWE is trying to make Sheamus feel more at home with his ghastly white appearance. By bringing in more pasty white guys. 
Nothing wrong Most with of that. UK Championship, well, we, home of the pasty white guys, makes a lot of us feel a little more, more comfortable. Hashtag white balance. Hashtag plus, white balance. Plus, the <laughs> less <laughs> orange people we can have on TV, the better. That's yeah. right. Enough, yeah. enough with the tan Hashtag PMS. Hashtag PMS. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does, does this mean they're getting rid of Cheetos? Mm. No. What? Cheetos make no. people orange. Does no. that mean they're getting rid of Cheetos? No, that only That's worked on right. that only worked on the Magic School Bus. Oh, okay. I, oh, fair oh, okay. Fair point. Guys, yeah. thank you so much. So much mayhem. So so much podcast. Going wow. around. Yeah. You later, Larry. On the Twitters. I gotta he, touch he, the podcast. He's kind of on there. I have people. He has people. Mad Mike at Mad Mike four eighty three. I remember that last number. No, actually Missy did. Yes. Uh on the Twitters. The, uh, the Twitters, um, and I'm also working on a special project for the Mayhem Show. Midweek War. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about schedule for Midweek War. I might be yeah. traveling. Uh, okay. So, so we'll work that out. We'll work. I might just do it on the road. Okay, just call yeah. it on the phone or something. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll find out if there's internet back home. Um, but uh, and also, wait, where am I at? Uh, Wheels is here. RWA, Hot Wheels RWA on the Twitter. Check out his belt collection. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. It's going to keep growing. And shouts uh, down in West Newton. They're doing rwalive.com. It's the anniversary. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, it's the anniversary show. A lot of really cool matches going on down there. Uh, Sorgatron Media will be in attendance for that. So check that out. And uh, also, free matches going on their YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. I think I, think I did this right. Uh, there will be a new match, free match, on RWA's YouTube page every day for... Around thirty days, including ones that have already been out. Nice. So cool. go there. There's there. And I was, so there's <laughs> Shane Douglas is all over that. Matt Hardy's on that. Um, Kelly Klein from Ring of Honor. Uh, I didn't put the Thunder Kitty one up. Um, Brandon Scott that's been in NXT. Um, John Skyler. Uh, a lot of great stuff there. Cage matches, crazy stuff. Jason Gorey, uh, women's matches. Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor popping up there. <laughs> I saw him responding to your your tweet earlier, uh, Wheels, uh, about that one <laughs> match. So uh, there you go. Maybe we'll ask him about that when he's in studio this weekend. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. Uh, thanks, Mad Mike. Or, I'm sorry, Matt. Matt Mainstream Mad Matt. There you go. There you go. There Mainstream you go. Matt on the Twitters. <laughs> Purveyor of the mayhem and Jackson Argus joining us, Rookie of the this Year. Guy. Check out his interview in the coming weeks over here yeah, on Indie Mayhem Show. I'm at Sorgatron. Did I miss anybody? Producer Missy. Wife of the show on Twitter, Bobby of Jeep Town, because he doesn't have video. I forgot about him. I'm like, John City, you can't see me. You can't see him. (laughs) This is the Mayhem Show. Thank you so much. Subscribe, tell your friends, Patreon, and all that shit. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.